Hi, I'm Kate Ward, and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip. And I have here today with me Mr. Odin Underfoot. And Mr. Odin Underfoot is a puppy. He's only about, he's almost three months old. But why do I tell you about this? Why do we care besides the fact that he's cute because he's a puppy? Well, puppies don't care about what they're getting into. And I have a garden here. Um, so you can see I'm going to chew on fingers and everything else. Ah, stop it. And um, so we're going to mouth things. We don't necessarily want to eat them, but we're going to mouth things. And as I'm looking through this garden, there may be some things to think about that he doesn't know or care about, but perhaps you should as a new owner. And this could also pertain to young children. So they're probably not going to eat everything, but you never know depending on their age. So that said, we're looking at a plant here called Monk's Hood. Wonderful plant, great in the garden. It's absolutely beautiful. However, the secret thing is, is that it is actually poisonous. So I am not going to remove this plant, but I'm going to be aware, is there anything in my garden that somebody that's young and wants to eat stuff might get into um, that he doesn't mean to, but could cause him or her harm. So that said, I'm going to pay attention if he's loose in the backyard, that he stays out of here because right now he does not at all respect the boundaries of this garden. Now there are other plants. Here's another one, hellebore. He probably won't mess with it and it's not going to cause as much distress as say this plant here would, but it's also not too fantastic, which is wonderful about it because um, deer don't eat it because it's, 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 um, it has some toxicity to that too, but it doesn't bother him. So that said, it's things like that just to pay attention to. Again, I'm not going to change my whole garden, but I'm going to be aware of where he is. So other things to think about if you have a little biter are things like bulbs. So right now you can see, oh, we don't love this bulb. Well, this is an alien bulb. And actually I accidentally dug it up when I was putting something else in. But aside from barking at it, he's not at all interested in eating it. Does anybody know why? Well, that's because it's an alien. It's in the onion family and it is not terribly fantastic to smell. It's got a really strong smell and you can see he's kind of thinking, oh, well, I grabbed it there, but He's not really chewing it, and he likes to eat just about everything I've found out, so that's happy for me. The cool thing about alliums, you can plant them now, wonderful flower in the spring, and, <laughs> and it's a good cut and multiplies. Also, deer don't eat it either, so Odin doesn't, and neither do the deer. Now, finally, things to think about are things in the house. So there's house plants that can cause some gastrointestinal upset in animals. They can cause some salivation, some other issues from there. So just think about it. There's certainly way more things that you can have that you can't or things you don't even have to pay attention to. If you have things, um, we have repellents for indoor and out for animals. If they just refuse uh, to, hey, no, drop it that's my finger um, if they just refuse to stay out of things so things like that to think about we wanted you to be aware of and until we see you again this has been your Dickman Farms smart gardening 